Apex? What about 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 Apex? You are a thief! Your administration sucks! Trying to find a place to sleep! Answer for your administration, Carlyer! The Constitution of Hawaii and America is Answer for your administration! You are no better than a common thief! You hire criminals in cabinet level positions! Like to see your bulldozer. Where's yeah, your yeah. Where's your bulldozer? Hey, where's your bulldozer? Oh, the tents are still up. Yeah, you promised me a bulldozer. Guess what, Carlyer? Our camp still stands. You cannot evict an idea. Where is the bulldozer? Not yelling right here. You are a common thief and thug! Carlyer is a thief and a thug! Criminal! 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 Thief! Thief! Thug! You are a common criminal! You are no better! than a thief and a thug! Criminal! Criminal! Thief! This man is a thief! He's a criminal! Criminal! You are no better than a common thug! Answer for your administration, Carlyer! Answer for your crimes! Answer for your administration. Where is the bulldozer? I'm back. You are a common thief and thug. Criminal. Criminal. Thief. You are no better than a common thief and a thug. You are no better than a common criminal! What? I'm, I'm coming back in one into the oven. No, we were standing in the top. Oh, you guys were? Yeah. Okay. You are a common criminal, Mayor Carlisle! You are a thug! Why did you hire criminals? Why did you hire thugs? I'm actually employed, thank you. Are you? Yeah. Maybe it's a better job. This is a full time job. You need a dick? What? You need a new thing? Social justice, man. This man hired criminals to steal from homeless people. They stole medication from a man. Dude, you threat. You get arrested. I've been arrested. No. Watch it out until you break the law. I'll show you. You are a common thief and a thug, Carlyer. Criminal. Criminal. Thief. 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 Common criminal. You're a thug, Carlyer. You are no better than a common thief and thug. Common thief and thug. There you go. Your crime will not be absolved. You will not be reelected. You are no better than a common thief and a thug. Mayor Carlisle is a criminal. Mayor Carlisle is a criminal and a thug. Peter Carlisle is a criminal and a thug! He's a liar! And
Answer for your crime. Answer for your administration, Carlyle. You are no better than a thief and a thug. Criminal. Where's the bulldozers? Yeah, couldn't get rid of the camp, could ya? You common thief and thug. You are a criminal.
Yeah. 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 wants to give you some water, I believe. Yeah. I'm sure you would love to. But don't consider that he's buying your boat. <laughs> You are a thief! You are a thug! Carl Iyer! You have stolen from the houseless! You have harassed the houseless! You are no better than a common thief and a thug! Answer for your administration! You are a thief and a thug! Okay. Should I talk to Michael? What? You want to talk to Michael? Yeah. Okay. You are no better than a common thief and thug! Carlisle is a criminal! Answer for your crimes, Carlisle! Answer for your administration! Why did you hire thieves? <laughs> Carlisle is a thief and a thug. <laughs> Criminal! Criminal! You are no better than a thief and a thug. Answer for your crime. Answer! Answer for your crime. You are no better than a common thief and thug. Carlisle is a thief. Answer for your crimes against humanity. You're not even going to win the primary. What's the point, thief? Your administration is a hack. You are a common thief and thug. Criminal! Criminal! Thief! Thug! Answer for your administration, you criminal! You are no better than a common thug! You steal from people! You harass people! You have cabinet-level officials that steal medications! You are a thief and a thug. You are a common criminal. Answer for your administration, Carlisle. Answer for your crimes. You are no better than a thief. You are a criminal. Answer for your administration, you thug. You employ criminals. You are a thief. You are a thug. You are no better than a common criminal. You suck. Have fun being unemployed, criminal. You are a thief and a thug. Peter Carlisle is a criminal! Criminal! You're no better than a thief and a thug! Answer for your crimes, thief! Why did you employ cabinet-level thieves? When will justice be served? Answer for your crimes! 
you heck. get out of the crosswalk because they've been bitching at me about it. Well, on August 8th, uh, HPD, or I'm sorry, uh, DFM and, uh, and, uh, so yeah, West John and Trish Work Out, yes. they came in to execute a raid, right? So before they, before they came up, uh, we were told that, uh, they had information that led them to believe that we were storing items on the property and that they were going to go ahead and clear the camp. Now the problem is, is that Trish Morikawa and uh, Sergeant Santos of HPD witnessed us removing the items from the camp. Okay, but they went ahead and they, they came in and they took items that weren't tagged anyway. Now, we, we tried to... Confront, on the 8th. Yes. Okay. We, we confronted Sergeant Santos about it during the raid, and he refused to answer for it. But afterwards, uh, we asked him, and he knew exactly what car it was, where it was parked, and that, and he witnessed us removing the item, making the, the raid completely illegal. Just, just looking at the larger picture, um, are you folks still maintaining a presence there at this point? Yeah, absolutely. There's no way that they can get rid of us. Every time they steal from us, uh, we just rebuild it. By stealing, you're saying that they're not even following the laws of Absolutely. As you can see, immediately after the raid, red tents were put back up. Well. How would that be possible if those tents were, were removed with the raid? Because that's what they were going on. They were saying that we were storing those red tents at the camp. 
and then you know inside of our tents and then just putting them up. But we've proved to them twice now that that is not the case. They were all stored in a gentleman's car parked on King Street. So after the raid, all we simply did was walk down to his car and grab our tents and put them right back up. Okay. We haven't changed our tactics for 279 days now. Okay. But they keep coming in and saying that we're storing property there and not in compliance with the law. This is the 279th day? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just, you realize you can't do a story every day, right? Yeah. I, oh, no. I know. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, no, so the mayor has to Thanks for coming. I'll be nice to not fuck up your interview because you're, you're being cool, all right? I'll be quiet while you do it. <laughs> That's good that they uh, had the courtesy to come. Actually, I, I know the photographer and I think she got the journalist. Yeah, yeah. Gordon Peng's a good guy. Oh, that's good. You know, yeah, I, I've talked to them before. He he seems pretty fair. So. I, I think we missed maybe a couple of They cornered me with the signs. You, you should have... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. They were pushing... They, one guy got right in my face. I felt yeah, like he was going to lose it. I was being pushed around as well. So. And, but the trouble is, this woman... In the pink, she has a daughter, and then she accused me of doing it. Yeah. You know, well, uh, and I, I got to the point where I pushed back. I had to, I, I did push forward just to get out of the area. And, uh, yeah, but it was. I, I, he looked like he was going to hit me. How many officers do we have? We got one. Two, three, four, five, six officers. That is plenty of officers to go arrest Trish and Wes. Where's the case number? Yeah. Hey, you want to hold this for a second for me? Sorry. Let me get something to drink and make a cigarette. Yeah, oh, you streaming? Yeah. I gotta get my battery pack out and Close down free speech. I want to see if he's going to say goodbye. Yeah, he's going
shit. Yeah, I know. I just gotta plug the battery in before it dies. You are a thief, Peter Carlyer! You are no better than a thug! Oh, where'd he go? Did Carlyer leave? Hmm? Oh, there's Carlyle. All right, I'm gonna go follow him. Can you watch it? Marie, Marie, answer for your crimes, criminal. Answer for your administration. You are a thief! You are a thug! Why is West and Trish employed by your administration? They are thieves! Pretty soon people are going to be telling you to get a job! You're not even going to make it past the primary! You are a common thief and a thug! And you're running! You want to make comparisons to rats? Look at you running like a scared rat! Your administration is a joke. You will not be reelected. You are a criminal and a thug. That's right, Carlyer. Walk away. Put your head in shame because everybody here knows you're not even going to make it past the primary. You are a thief and a thug. Walk away, hack job. You employed criminals, and their actions have a direct result on your re-election prospects. If you steal and beat from people, you won't be re-elected. Have a nice day, Carlyer. All right. So, I have managed to run off Trish and now Carlyer. His supporters are still there. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's enough for today. We had, uh, I think it was a successful action. Um, Trish and uh, Carlisle were out in public, and several of us made it known exactly how we feel about him. That he's no better than a common thief and a thug. You're all going to be unemployed when Carlisle doesn't win. Woo! All right. So I, I chased Carlisle down. Do you have anything you'd like to say? I think uh, I was upset uh, that Mayor Carlisle wouldn't answer my questions before when it was quieter, uh, when only you and I were here. And he arrived. I asked him some questions about why... Um, why the sweep had taken place two days before the election at the Occupy and uh, he wouldn't have anything to say about that and then I also asked him what he uh, what his position was on Bill 54 and I wanted I would have liked to have asked him questions about homelessness it was an opportunity for him to explain his position but he wouldn't uh, he wouldn't answer at all and he said that it was a city matter, and he wasn't going to talk to me about that. Well, when I asked him about why uh, why he hired thieves and thugs, uh, Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chun, he said he supports them. So, and I have that on film. All right. That uh, he didn't, Mayor Carlisle supports 
he didn't dispute that they were uh, criminals and thugs. <laughs> yeah, but just that he supports the. Okay. Well, that's good. You got a, at least you got some response. That's not who that lady. She's like her. His, like, isn't she like his secretary or something? She's no. at the neighborhood board meeting. Uh, maybe. Uh, walk away. You're gonna be unemployed too when Carlisle is on election. I didn't appreciate getting pummeled. Um, we got the media here to tell the story. That's good. At least um, the Star Advertiser came. And what really bugged me and disappointed me was uh, the cameraman for, from KITV4. He arrived and was expecting just to shoot uh, a commercial, basically, for the Peter Carlyle campaign and presented as news tonight. However, when he came, there were some protesters and there were some, some uh, issues and there's some um, uh, colour happening here that he wasn't expecting. He did his best trying to avoid the story, <coughs> the real story, and when he realised that he couldn't, uh, he couldn't ignore it, he closed his camera down and went up there to video someone in the quiet. So, if the media is not giving you the story of what's happening on this corner and, de and so blatantly and deliberately avoiding it, what does that say about the messages we're receiving on through TV and mainstream media? Absolutely. Very worried. Okay, well, I, I think the sign waving is kind of coming to a close. Uh, yes, it's the traffic that matters. You know, the traffic's starting to die now. now. So I, I think this was a successful action. It was a very successful I'm going to go talk to the police really quick and uh, make sure they know why exactly why we're here. Okay, do you want me to come with you? Uh, do you want yeah. me to bring your things? Uh, I'll just watch. Yeah, yeah, just, just watch. I'm going to finish my cigarette because I don't want to be rude. Where did uh, D'Angelo go? I just had a quick question because I went down to the uh, the Chinatown substation. Uh, the reason why we were out here today is because on uh, August 8th, Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chun went outside of Bill 54 and outright stole. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, Sergeant Santos here. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down. We're we're pretty much done for today. So.